Ciao a tutti. Um, I'm sorry we will have to do this in English because my Italian is definitely not uh, sufficient enough to do something like this. Um, so I'm sorry, bear with me. Uh, I hope my English is easy enough to understand anyway. So I will give you a short demonstration of the architectural workbench of, of FreeCAD. Uh, I'm myself an architect, so this is the workbench I've put most of my efforts uh, on. Uh, the um, base concept of it basically is that it's made to take advantage of all the other tools of FreeCAD and um, this is very powerful because it uh, allows you uh, not only to draw walls for example with the wall tool which allows you to draw conventional walls by just drawing them on screen you can also use any other object made with any other workbench of FreeCAD such as a cube for example let's make it a little bit bigger 2 meter by 2 meter by 10 meter and you can just going back to the architecture workbench instantly convert any of those objects into an architectural object like this this has become a wall as now You can also draw on other objects. For example, I draw a rectangle. And I am using now this rectangle as a base for a wall. And the wall is just following the, the shape it has been given. All this is still parametric, so I can change the length of those, that rectangle and the wall will update automatically. I will make it a bit higher. So another interesting tool for architecture is the window tool. Um, in FreeCAD, the window tool uh, serves to, to make uh, windows and also to make doors. Actually, a door is only a special case of, of a window. So this is a very simple tool as well. Uh, you just select presets, you give it dimensions, and you just place it somewhere on an object. Doing windows works exactly the same way, except that you select a door, you give it correct dimension, and you can just place it anywhere as well. All, all these uh, windows are sketch based. You see that it has a sketch so you can basically uh, create custom windows just by drawing a sketch on any face of a wall. And this sketch can be turned instantly into a, a window by checking the, by pressing the, the window button and then adjusting some, some parameters. Um, so there, there too, you, you really are not uh, limited in creativity by, by the tools. You can just use any other tool of FreeCAD and draw anything you want anywhere. And this will, uh, as long as you make closed uh, shapes, it can become a window. Um, another useful tool is the structure tool. The structure tool is used to make structural objects such as columns or beams or slabs. Uh, it can be like very simple ones or you can use a series of presets uh, like for example metallic profiles like HEA, HB and INP and all those kind of common metallic profiles that are used in the industry. These are all parametric, these can become beams, these can become columns and you just can assemble them any way you like. Again we can use um, other tools to create our structural elements. We can, of course, 
use any other tool to create our structural elements. I just create a rectangle. I make now its, its face to true, so it creates a face. And I can use that to create a slab by giving it a slab thickness. And again, you can use any other tool of FreeCAD to either to, to create your objects or to create the, the baselines of your architectural objects. And this can happen in any any plane of the 3D space. So now we have a nice house. We can begin to do some other things like placing dimensions. Um, directly in the model. And take another one. In this case, with, with this button, I constrained the drawing on the plane, on the ground plane. So now I can take the dimension tool and pick points above the ground plane. And let's go further here and my dimension will still be drawn in the ground plane. So now I can start, for example, organizing a little bit all of this. I could create a group and place all my dimensions into that group and create a building and pick all my objects and put it inside the building. That's a way to organize and to, to structure your, your model so that it, uh, it becomes meaningful, like when, it's be, when it will be exported to other architectural applications such as Revit or Archicad. Um, the structure of your building will be coherent and will arrive in the final application the same way as it is done here. Um, so, one of the most useful things to do in an architectural application, of course, is to create automatic uh, plan and section views of your, of your model. Uh, that can be done as well in the architecture model quite easily by using that object that is a section plane. I will make it a little bit bigger. 10 by 15, for example. It doesn't need to be, but it's nicer. I will move its position also manually so that it crosses the windows. That's it. So when we use it to cut our model, it will cut through the windows. And then I will add my building to that section with the actor rule at the bottom. Then our section is ready. Now we can, for example, create a drawing page and select our section and place it on the drawing sheet. We can also take a group of dimensions and do the same. Now I have a page with two views and I must, of course, change their position and their size because the scale because they are very big no still too big still too big okay that's it that's it and so simply by changing the, the position of that uh, section plane, I can begin to create sections and facade views just by placing that that, uh, that plane vertically and doing the same thing. So basically, once you have your, your model carefully done in FreeCAD, you can just output um, section planes, uh, plan views, and all the usual drawings that you need. And those drawings are, uh, of course, 
uh, bound together. For example, if I go back to my house here and I would change the size of the first rectangle that I used, which is this one, and let's make it back to 6 meters. And you see that the drawing is updated automatically as well. Everything is still connected together. So this is basically, uh, of course, this one. This one. I didn't base it on the other dimensions, so it didn't update. So I have to do it manually as well. So resuming. Uh, the article module is still very young and unfinished. Um, so uh, you don't have many tools yet, but with what you already have, uh, you can already produce final drawings. And it also, uh, although it doesn't have all, all, the, all the, the complexity of commercial applications, uh, it already has a couple of features that you don't find in, uh, in commercial applications. Uh, for example, the possibility to use all the array of other FreeCAD tools uh, to, to con construct sound architectural models which will export correctly to other standard formats such as IFC and um, and so it gives you uh, lots of creativity and um, this is already something interesting and that, that you hardly will find in other applications um, so yeah, what's missing at the moment basically is more people using the architecture workbench and uh, contributing to it and finding uh, bugs and problems, uh, finding better ways to achieve the, the same results and um, yes, and certainly we will get there at some point and um, all the basics are there already. So I guess that's it. I hope you liked and um, well, join us on the FreeCAD community and help help us building this tool. Thank you for listening and have a nice event. Ciao.